much. So if it weren't for Guy, we wouldn't have this incredible challenge. And you want to stick around for the prize announcement of the challenge because the top 10 winners uh, get a really amazing prize. But right now, there is another chance to win some prizes because during, uh, during the coming break, we have an active break for you powered by Cyber Reason. This is a Kahoot trivia game. I'd like to invite Uri from Cyber Reason to the stage to come and host the trivia. We're going we're gonna to spend to seven minutes on this trivia and then you're gonna have a break outside with Turkish delights and iced coffee and we're gonna come back inside at 5 15 and uh, by the way if you win the trivia this is what you get a little Nintendo switch okay Got it? hello everyone I'm Uri from Cyberism I hold in my hand a brand new Nintendo switch and it will be one belong to one of you in a few minutes if you stay and solve our hacking trivia. So if you know Kahoot, just uh, connect on your device to kahoot.com and enter this PIN and the game will begin shortly. Question, which of the following is not a cybersecurity conference? Not a cybersecurity conference. The answer is, of course, Green Hat. Okay, good start. Next question, which of the following is not an anti-exploitation technique? Not an anti-exploitation technique. The answer is, of course, Rob. Cyberetta, first place. Which of the following is not a Windows 10 system process? Which of the following is not a root certificate authority in Windows? That's a hard one. A hard question. Which of the following is the exception? Pay close attention. Which of the following is not like the others? It's a close match. GIFA, first place. Which of the following Intel opcodes cannot be used as the NOP? The NOP opcode. Which one cannot replace the NOP opcode? All right, all right, I'm it, Serper. <laughs> can one execute PowerShell when PowerShell EXE is not available? That's a tricky one. Enough Ganet Galili, apparently in the crowd. 
What is the well-known port reserved for the game Doom? I'm talking about the original Doom game, which has its own well-known port. The answer, of course, is 666. All right, it's a close match. Which of the following is not a real antivirus company? Another tricky one. Antivirus companies, notoriously difficult names. The answer is SciShield. It's not a real anti com uh, antivirus company. Cyberduck, second place. Which of the following is not a known hackers group? Pay close attention, not a real hackers group. The answer is Dirty Cow, which is a name of an exploit, not a hacker group. All right. I think we have our first five. Next question, which of the following strings does not know its own length? Which of the following strings does not know its own length? The answer is PTSD, which is just the raw pointer. Okay, Cyberduck takes the first place. Next question, which of the following is not a valid floating point number representation in Python? Pay close attention, the tricky one. Not a valid by a floating point representation in Python. All right, Door takes the first place. First three ones are very closely matched. Everything is still open. Next question. Which of the following is not a real cryptocurrency? Many cryptocurrencies around these days. Which one is not a real cryptocurrency? The surprising answer is Ethercoin. Which of the following is not a real programming language? Hint, it's JavaScript. The answer is hotspot. There isn't such a programming language in existence. Very nice. Enough getting a little falls to the fourth place. The Pitya ransomware. Is the its name is derived from which of the following? The Pitya ransomware. Answer, it's a nickname for Peter in Russian. Um, now, as you may know, uh, outside of these walls, there's a huge cyber attack, a ransomware attack by uh, an unknown group spreading Pitya. Um, we at Cyberizen spent uh, last night uh, working hard to develop a countermeasure for that. So, um, watch yourself. All right, next question. What does the MZ at the beginning of a P file stand for? Every P file begins with the letters MZ. What does it stand for? The answer is Mark Spikowski, which was an early DOS developer. That's his initials. Anyone who knew it is very old. Okay. Very close match. What was Tor originally developed for? Tor, everybody uses it. What was it the first developed for? I kind of expected an Afghan Galili to know this, and apparently she does. All right, next question. Pux. We're very close to the end. Pux is. What is Pux? Pux is an 
mitigation mitigation patch. Okay, okay. This is the one before last question. Which of the following hacker movies is the lowest rated in IMDb? The lowest rated. Answer is Black Hat, 2015. And now for the bonus question. Pay close attention to the bonus question. Cyberism is looking for which of the following? Pay close attention, which of the following are we looking for? The answer is all of them, of course. Trick question! Okay, first place. Cyberduck, who's Cyberduck? Come here. Wow, that was a fun competition. Give it up for Danny. Danny and the Uri, come here, come here for the photo op. Woo! No, that's not, okay. Yes, 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 yes. And we're gonna get back in here from the break. It's 5.15, we got iced coffee, we got Turkish delights, we got more fun coming up and an after party. We got all the best dogs in the end. It's gonna be awesome. See you.